Amazing. It's one of the most beautiful songs ever written. Hey, Shout man. out Andre. Shout out Andre. Shout out Frank Ocean. Shout out what it is, man. We here. It's your boy, Big Cali. Kelly K on the building. We're our goon. We here with special guest, Damore. Yes, sir. Still producer, in here with songwriter, r and yeah. artist, UTV lifestyle. You know yes. what it is, Shout man. Shout out to the gang. And you know, Damore, I mean, I know a lot of people who, you know, they, they might not hear your music. They might, excuse me, they may have <laughs> heard your music. Yes. And have heard what you do and know, right. you know, lost in love, lost in things, but they might not know, <laughs> you know. Lost in love, lost in things. Lost in things. Lost in things. Yeah, I'm faded. I'm you, faded. You, you, <laughs> you can't be lost in some things, I though. Love, when when <laughs> you were lost in love, you was lost in some things. Thank so you, so thank you, you brother. I get you, bro. Thank you, thank you, brother. But nah. Shit, so, so, bro, um, it's been it's been a journey, bro. Yes, it has. We've been doing it for a while, man. And I'm brother. talking to you straight up, like <laughs> as my cousin, as my partner, as my brother. Yes, everything, bro. man. We've been through it all. And I remember even before you sang, mm-hmm. and you remember before I even did this podcast, radio, all this yeah. DJing, any of it. Yeah. And I know for the fact that we're turning into this next era. Of course, 30, of course. We're 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 done with the twenty. It's a blessing. It's a bro. It's a let's drop a bomb for that. <laughs> let's drop a bomb it's for a that because I was a lot of people aren't ready for that. Of course not. A yeah. lot of people don't know. You a lot have of the right mindset. Yeah, yeah. bro. Thirty is a is a a different step, man. And, it and is. It's, it but is. it's a liberating one. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean, I can yeah. definitely and say that, Kel. I'm a complaint. I was a little nervous. I feel the same. I'm not, I was too. I'm not even gonna lie too. I'm, I was very big on where I need to be at 30. Like you know. Yeah, because like, society tells you like, of course, this is what you should be at 30. You right. should be doing this. You should be doing that. You should be right here. But that's no, one of that's the biggest what it's things about. that you have to detach yourself from. You honestly, to, yeah, you have to do that, bro. Yeah. You're gonna go through like such a. It's just such a hard time, man, when you're reflecting mm-hmm. on just your 20. Rich nigga, ring popping bottles. <laughs> oh, popping let's bottles. Go, let's go. Yeah. 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 Shout out you to know? 30. The 30 so, man, club. It's, it's a, there's a time. There, there's a thing called a um, Saturn return, right? Okay, bring it down. Take Where it, it's, take a, it. it's a cosmic, it's a cosmic passage of kind of introduction to just the, another, another phase of adulthood, right? Right. right. Yeah. So you guys are actually going through it as we speak, right? Wow. Yeah. Okay. So me and Reem went through it. CJ's uh, on his way to be uh, on it too. Mm-hmm. And in that, in that transit, you're like reflecting on things that worked for you in your 20s. Okay. Yeah. Things that didn't, the things right. you accomplished, things you might have not. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And at, when doing that, you can kind of... Uh, Fall into this deep, <laughs> just <laughs> this deep, just depression of just like, man, I'm supposed to be here, I'm supposed right. to be there. Yeah. Yeah. I right. felt that. That's you what I mean. Hey, yeah. Kel, and I mean, just to be transparent with the people, yeah. I felt that honestly. I feel you. Same. It's been times where I literally was like, you know what? I look around, and a lot of my friends are married. Yeah, yeah. Or a lot of kids. my friends have kids. Yeah. A lot of family, especially around holiday season. Yeah, yeah. But I've been working. Right. I'm DJing. I've been trying to perfect my craft. Right. I know I'm meant for a different purpose other than maybe quote unquote the status quo right. of what you're supposed to do. Right. Mm-hmm. And and then just in my personal advice, what I've been doing, what I've learned in this process is to be accepted and to accept the fact that I'm not in control. Yeah. Right. It's it's up to a divine force. It's it's bigger than me. Exactly. I mean, I mean, I mean yeah. you are in control though. Like, you know, you have a lot of control in what, what the outcome may be. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. it's just you can't go against the force of what it should. Yeah. Right. That's, That's the key. Yeah. Because in my life, I've always, we've known. Yeah. This is what we should do, maybe. This, but then in our head, we were like, but this is a much better route. We could do it. Mm-hmm. I'm done with listening to that voice. That no other shortcuts. voice, no shortcuts. Drop out for that. Let's go. And I can say, we're leaving that in the 20s. Yeah, you know, exactly. and I was talking before this, like, behind. it's things we have to leave behind. Mm-hmm. A lot of things, this new path. And, yeah. and I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be able to go through this without maybe the burden of children. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or the that's burden my of whole I wouldn't thing. even say yes. burden of children. Like, is that you know, what it like, is? But, that's like, how I feel, though. Because it's, it's, it's the responsibility of yeah, it's I would the say. Yeah. There yes. you go. Yeah. No, yeah. Man, there you go. Yeah, it's the responsibility. I don't want, I don't need that. Yeah. I can't. Mm-hmm. I really we see ourselves in, in in better positions before bringing another life into the world. Yeah. To not that struggle. That was so politically right. correct. But you just said, I But no, and it's just that point. And then, like, I don't know, like, Demore, what other things do you think that you've been. Wanting to do uh, since then, like the, some things that you've been wanting to do, or leave in uh, the twenties. Leave in the twenties. Um, 
negativity, like hmm. all the yeah. negative thinking. Yeah. I, I tend to um, be very direct. Like you know, I'm I'm a very very direct person. So right. with that with that comes a lot of like negative thinking mm-hmm. because you go straight for what it is and yeah. not the the outcome of what positive things may come from it like you right. know yeah. so you got to take the time to slow down and really think and yeah. be like you know because that comes yeah. with the time and age and like okay that's not what that person really meant right like you know <laughs> that person was just really just talking but yeah. it comes over time to really yeah. know that like, being realistic yeah and being open as well to like just what it's supposed to be because you mm-hmm. may have the plan but you don't got all the steps figured right. out right? Exactly. and people will try and focus on all the steps like man this step didn't work right here what the mm-hmm. fuck mm-hmm. it's like nah you gotta look at the overall bubble you know what I'm saying <laughs> exactly. like, there might be some other steps in between that shit that you just didn't realize that of you course. didn't put together right. of course you're right yeah. definitely right and you know I, I realized too it's like it's funny when I try to do things myself because mm-hmm. I feel I know everything and I feel I know the full picture I realize I don't. Oh, right. man. This is probably the first mm. time in my life I realize I don't know everything. The universe will help me. Because quick. the bigger yeah, picture is bigger. Shout out to remember, the universe. You know, right? Yeah. Like, I yeah. realize that I don't know everything and I can't control everything. Right. Yeah. And I think that's the point of getting older. I yeah. was going to say that. Literally. Yeah. That stepping into your 30s, it's, it's, it's about releasing that. You know yeah. what I mean? And really stepping into a... a, a a place of faith, you know what I mean? And right. understanding I mean, like of faith yourself. within yourself, yeah. Yeah. faith of what's going to happen, you know what I mean? Right. Have confidence in yourself to know right. that you can handle anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So yeah. what what different advice would you say that you give Kel, you know, Coach K, <laughs> <laughs> for all the, the people wins. that might be stepping from even, not even only from 20 to 30s, but just like, we'll even go around, but I'm curious more on your, you and uh, Reem stand because you guys already crossed over to the right. right? Yeah. Yeah, So what is the advice that you give to those people crossing over into the 30s of their life? I would say the biggest thing is to, whatever has, you feel has plagued you, or kept you from the things that you most want, you need to look those things in the mirror, mm-hmm. ask yourself why. Right. Mm. Don't, don't, try to, don't try to defer from it. Yeah. Ask right. yourself why and ask yourself what works mm-hmm. and how to get those things that I've been doing and what right. hasn't worked and right. really release that, man. Yeah. That's some of the best advice I can honestly give. Hey, yeah. let's drop a bomb for that right there. I like that. I like that That's right good. there. Right. Right. That was five bombs and now it's right. <laughs> one more. One more, they say one more bomb. Yeah, one so, more bomb. So, Ray, man, what, what advice would you give, man? Um, my, my main thing is being patient. Mm. Man, as mm. always, you know, like of people, don't, people of don't know how to just let. I mean, I don't want to say people don't know how to let life like just like be the the driver of it was not the universe, be That's like the so driver of life. Difficult, yeah. right? But overall, like people don't know how to like wait for like the blessings that they're about to receive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, based off of their hard work. Can you right. repeat that yeah, one more time, exactly. please? People don't like to I can't wait. Remember I'm off the grand crew. He said. <laughs> <laughs> I'll repeat it for you because that meant a lot to me. Okay. Yeah. He said like people don't want to wait for the blessing that's coming to you. Yeah. yeah. Based and, off of the hard work that they put And in. basically, mm-hmm. it's a lot of time people don't want to go through the process and enjoy yeah. the process. Yeah. yeah. But could that, I'm sorry, Big C, but could that be because maybe they see they're going through all the hard work, but they don't see like the possibility of that blessing coming to them? Exactly. Yeah, because the process is and long they, and the yeah. process may not be how everyone's process is. Yeah, exactly. So it's even if yours, you might not see anything, you keep going because you believe. Yeah, it's exactly. not about seeing anything. It's about going towards the process and believing in the process. So keeping right, that yeah. patience. So keeping that yep. patience. Because patience, the word patience has so many layers to it that it I feel is. like it, it's, it's a lifelong lesson in that. What it do you does. feel is something that you, besides, you know, doing that, because I know you say you want to, you know, leave that in the 20s. Mm-hmm. What's something else you'll give this advice to someone else that might be approaching like, hey, you know, you might want to check this. This is something I went through in my 20s right. else that you're going. Because I know for a fact with me, mm-hmm. I want to give up the fact of worrying. Right. 
Of course, we all definitely want to do that. I'm done right. with that. Yeah. yeah. You know, worrying doesn't help it anything. Doesn't. It causes Worrying stress. doesn't cause stress, causes overeating, causes drug use, mm-hmm. over-sexualizing, yeah. <laughs> over everything. <laughs> and I'm just coming clean. I'm coming clean. It's real. You're Rick James. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it is what it is, man. So that's that's literally mine. But what about you, man? What, what do you feel is the you know, last little Rick. gym you want to leave to the 20s? Uh, a good friend of mine a little older um, told me write down a list of things that you're good at mm-hmm. and things that you're great at. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, and then you check, once you're going off and you're checking off some things that you're good at, you're going to continue to keep adding things to your great, that into that list that you're great at. Like, yeah. You know, so never within that list you have anything that you're filling. Yeah. So. I like that. Yeah. You know, I like and that. also shout out to Mr. Norwood, but Mr. Norwood always told me too, don't ever fall back like, don't think you have a pan, a plan B. Like you should always have a plan A that you're working on and go Ooh. towards. Ooh. And, 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 and that's an older man telling you that. Yep. Yes. Who, older if people right don't know who Mr. Norwood is. We'll just say it on here. That's a show Brandy and Ray J's father. Okay? And that's definitely one of Demore's mentors. Yes. One of my mentors yes. who I got to come up under. Yeah, yeah. He the one that blessed me and told me I needed to do podcasts back in 2011. Thank you. And if I had just listened to him, it took me Who knows, man? Shout so shout out, Mr. Norwood. No, I love you, brother. Family. So yeah. definitely, man, we're going to get into this thing. And I appreciate it. I'm happy for the start. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm appreciate- blessed. Hey, and child. I'm here with my brothers, here yeah. with my family, yeah. mm-hmm. and I mean, um, what else can you want at this point? That's how I right, feel. right, right. Now I had one more thing to say. Say so, another, another thing that people can uh, use some advice, but I'm low key faded. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's skipping my mind at the moment. It's All right. my mind. So I mean, we can go into there right at this bottles, point, guys. and I appreciate it because this is definitely a wavy episode. This is a celebration. Oh yeah, celebration. I remember. I remember. Yes. I remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So people, I feel like people need to um, realize that you don't always have to push. Right. You need to, th- there's a balance in everything that you do, right? Mm-hmm. So there's a time right. to push for things that you want. There's a time to reflect. Right. And be still. Right. You know what I mean? I think that that alone is just very dismissed. Like, right. no, nah, yeah. I, 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 gotta, I gotta go after it. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? That's right. just kind of like what our culture or our society teaches us. Like, you gotta go after it 100%. Right. But there is time to... To be still and to reflect. Up, you know what I mean? Right, right. 